Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today, you guys, I came to do a bonus cash stuffing. Don't we love a bonus cash stuffing? Right, <laughs> so I have some extra cash and I'm gonna be putting it mainly into savings challenges and yeah, just bonus areas that I wasn't able to stuff throughout the month. If that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into it. All right, before we get started with the cash stuffing, I do want to go ahead and find the We Are The Stars winner and find out how much needs to stuff into that binder. So hold on one second. Let me get it all pulled up. If you're unfamiliar with the We Are The Stars challenge, I'll link a video up here that'll explain exactly how you would play. Just know that I'm giving away a $10 gift card every single video. And if you want to be a part of possibly winning that $10 gift card, you just need to leave a comment in this video by the time I post the next video, which you guys, I think I'm gonna be pumping them out pretty quickly this month. So yeah, if you wanna be involved, you'll have to be there, right? All right, so let me get the page going with the YouTube studio, cause that's how I go to pick a winner. All right, so I'm gonna go here to content. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is go to my last video, which was the budget and cash stuff for the final August payments. And I click here on TubeBuddy and then click on pick a winner. Because there's no random comment that, I mean, there's no specific comment that you have to pick. I just pick pick a random comment from all the comments. So let's see who's going to win the $10 for last video. Okay, that's Letty Budgeting Life. And she commented, awesome closeout and stuffing. That was sweet of Ro to give her $10 to someone else to bless them. It really was sweet. And yes, Letty, you won. So reach out to me on Instagram so you can get your $10 and um, I'll get it right over to you, okay? Now let's see how many comments we had. This video was just uploaded a couple of days ago, so y'all, the comments are low. <laughs> 246, which means I only need to put $25 in the We Are The Star Challenge for this particular video. I'm starting to think I need to hurry up, upload, hurry up, upload, hurry up, upload before too many of y'all get a chance to comment so I can keep my money low for We Are The Stars until we get the, through the next seven videos. All right, so anyway, this one was a win. 246 will be putting $25 into the We Are The Stars Challenge. Um, take a sip every time I say We Are The Stars because I'm telling y'all, I be saying it so much in the beginning of a video. <laughs> But for right now, before I actually pull out that challenge, I want to go ahead and count up the money that we have for today and get it all set up for this cash stuffing. All right, so I went ahead and pulled out some money from the bank. It's a random number that I pulled that I felt like I can still handle, which was $560. So let me go ahead and count that up and then we'll start working on the savings challenges. So there's 51. Uh-oh, she already, come on y'all, okay. Hold on, regroup, okay, <laughs> 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, for 10, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. $560, I'm gonna set it up on the table and we'll start with the We Are The Stars. Did you take your sip? <laughs> all right, hold on, let me set it all up. All right, so I think I have everything set up. We're gonna start with the We Are The Stars. Stop saying that so these people have to keep taking these sips. I'm taking a sip of water. Um, when I edit, anytime I say We Are The Stars, I'm gonna be taking a sip of water. Okay, let's see. First of all, she gotta get it unzipped. All right, so here's this challenge. So for this one, it was Letty's Budgeting life and it was for 25 dollars. you barely can see that but it's because one of my little dots messed it up 25 dollars. okay so if you want to save right alongside me this actual form is a pdf file linked down below in the description bar you would put your multiplier here my multiplier is 10 cents that's why even though we had 246 comments i'm going to be saving 25 dollars because i multiplied my multiplier times the number of comments some people are multiplying it by a penny. Some people are multiplying it by five cents, 10 cents, a quarter, if you wanna be bold. But for today, um, Letty's Budget Life is the one who won $10 and I'm gonna be stuffing $25. So let me get $25 out and get that stuffed. All right, so there's the $25 and let's see. $25. Uh, 
All right, so for the We Are The Stars Challenge so far, I have 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 197, almost $200, y'all. It'll be there soon, because trust me, another video's coming very shortly. So, hold on, let me put this back in here. All right, and that's it for We Are The Stars. All right, so the first um, challenge I wanna start with, or the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and step some money into my daughter's graduation gift. This is a croc black um, binder from Tina from A Pink Cloth Life. It comes like this, and it came with some envelopes. I went ahead and decorated the inside of them for every month of the year that I'm gonna be stuffing. And at the end of the year, when graduation occurs, and I'll give her this whole completed binder full of money, for the month of August, I did have some money stuffed in here, but I wanted to put some more for August since this really is August income. And this is 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200 that I put in there so far. So I decided for this month and next month, I'm gonna be using one of these scratch offs. Now this is actually an envelope that's available in my um, Etsy storefront where you can scratch off. This is the 20 to 50 one. However, I'm gonna be using this as like a dashboard of sorts that's just gonna sit down in here and pull it out so I can remind myself to scratch and put some money in my daughter's graduation binder and not just pick a random number out of the sky. So um, I think the completion of this one is $350 total. So between this month and next month, I know at least well, I'll have $350 going in. All right, so that's my plan. So let's go ahead and scratch off for hers first because I didn't do this at all this month. All right, $40. I think I'm gonna do one more. There are no skipper doubles on these. These are just straight dollar amounts. Everything on this card is between 20 and 50. There is one between 50 and 100. There's also one between five and 30. So for today, I'm gonna be putting 40 and 35, which is $75. My goal is to get all of these dots done by the end of the month, okay? So 75 for today. All right, so there's 50, 75. And let me just get this out of here. All right, so now she has 100, 150, 20, 40, 60, 80, 250, 275. <laughs> did y'all see how I did that one? Okay, she slicked it. 275 for the month of August. I feel good about that. I will have some higher months, I'm sure, where I'll be put, able to put more in a month, but you know, that's a pretty good number. So I'm ready to roll with that one. So we're all done with my daughter's binder. If you guys are interested in one of these binders, um, head over to Tina at A Pink Cloth Life. I know she had them on her website. She sold them in pink this color and I think brown maybe I don't know she had a few different colors to choose from you guys check her out okay I'll put her page here on the screen all right next I want to work in the easy mini cash budget 1000 or less savings challenge planner this planner is one of the planners I created for sale on Amazon if you're interested you can click a link up here to see a comparison of all the budgeting planners as well as savings challenge planners that I've created so far um, and in this planner I'm just doing one challenge at a time so we're going to be working on this this one is gonna be putting the puzzle together for $540. Every single one of these little puzzle pieces is $10, but I do have another $10 challenge that I'm working on, so I decided to use a multiplier for this one. And boy, has it been elevating my savings, okay. <laughs> so, so I used my phone and I asked Siri to give me a number, typically one through nine, but I thought of something else because I wanna do about four boxes worth, really? Yeah, at least four boxes. So I'm gonna ask for a random four digit number and, um, We'll use that as a multiplier for four different boxes. So let's see how this works. Hey Siri, can you give me a random number between one and 9,999, please? A random number between one and 9,999 is 4,410. Thank you. 4,410. Okay, we need to go that route because you know she ain't gonna pick the highest. Okay, so we got times four, times four, times one, times zero. $4,410. So this is gonna be 40, 40, 10, and this one is supposed to be nothing, but I'm gonna put 10. All right, so let's see. So 40, 40, 10, and 10, that's $100. Let me color these in. And I think we could probably do that one more time. What you think? Am I being risky out here in these streets? 
Let's see. She did real good that time. I'm going to try it again because I really want to get this challenge completed because I made a promise to myself that I wouldn't work on another challenge until I got done with this one in this book. And so I'm trying to do one at a time. And this one, because of the multiplier, is just taking longer. So either I'm going to start another challenge or I'm going to um, ask Siri for more multipliers and put more money over in here. So let's see which one today I'm going to ask her, I think, for another multiplier. Hold on, I got one more to color. That one's pretty dark. All right, so that's four, 44 10 and that equaled $100. Let's ask Siri for another four-digit number to finish off this row. Y'all, I feel kind of scared. Hey, Siri. Can you give me a random number between zero and 9,999, please? A random number between <laughs> zero and 9,999 is 8,650. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 8,650, so we'll do times eight, times six, times five, and this will be times zero, but we'll put a $10 bill in for that one. So let me get my calculator because now it's starting to get crazy. Okay, so that's 80 plus 60 plus 50 plus 10. So that's another 200. So $300 is going to end up in this challenge today. Okay, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. I'm going to put this 50 back. Okay, there we go. 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83. And let me hurry up and speed up coloring in these four right here. All right, so we finished two, three rows, and today we're going to be putting in $300. Let me get the binder. Yeah, she went big the second time, huh? <laughs> Wait, hold on. All right, so I have this one. I'm putting the puzzle together. We'll put this $300 in there. I didn't drop bills on the floor and everything. I think I got it together. There's one, two, three, 54, 50, 70, 90, 510, 530, 50, 70, 90, 610, 730, 50, 70, 90, 710, 720, 25, 30, 730. Is that right? Wait, one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86. Ooh, that is right. 710, 750, 70, 90, 7, 730, wait, 7, and then 730. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this gonna be a big boy. When we get done with this one, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. All right, so that's cool. 730 and the putting the puzzle together. So if you guys are interested in this book, check the Amazon link down below on my storefront after you check the video, watching the comparison to see which one you wanna choose. And yeah, this too can be yours. All right, next I wanna do some of the scratch offs. Um, let's see. Let me just take the money out too. This scratch off challenge can be found um, in my Etsy storefront. I do have cards for different budget types. This one's 100 on one side, 250 on the other one. This is 500 and 350. There's also one with 75 and 200 and one with um, 300 and 400. So yeah, I'm going to be scratching. I think this 55 because we got some money on the table still. So let me try this side. Oh, okay. Let's try this one. Oh, look, now you want to play nice when I got some cash on the table. Okay. $25 <laughs> on that side. Let's try one. Let's finish up this one. Let's try this one. Oh, it wouldn't be right if I had a day without a skip or double, would it? It sure wouldn't. Okay, so skip or double. And let's try this one over here. 17. So 17 and 17 is 34 plus 25. I don't know what that is. 
but we do have a calculator. 17, 17, and 25. $59. Okay, that's doable. Let's see, 55. I put some ones on the table just for these scratch offs. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, she got it together. All right, so let's see where we're at. $59 went in. I have one, two, three, three, fifty, four, four, twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, forty, six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two. Four fifty-two. I will take it in the scratch and save. Now, this is one of the um challenges that when it gets completed, I am gonna be reallocating this money to some other things. So yeah. But the one that's in the back, the putting the puzzle together, once I complete that one, which it might take some time, I'm gonna be putting that in my 2022 challenges. All right, let's move on to budgeting to freedoms challenge. And this is the $10 challenge that I was doing. Hold on you guys, cause I'm about to clean this up. Hold on one second, let me clean it up and I'll be right back. took off all of the wet erase marker and instead put the dry erase which I'm going to be using this pink dry erase for this one because hopefully it'll dry and not stick onto my envelope I don't want the envelope to be messed up I love that envelope so for today I'm going to be putting $20 in this one and I already had a hundred so we're going to color two boxes All right, so that should be 120 for this challenge. There's 120. Dare I put this in yet? Hold on, let me let it dry a little bit. Okay, I think it's completely dry. This challenge, you can find this on Budgeting to Freedom's channel. Um, and her name is Jessica. She also sends it with this envelope and I didn't want my envelope to get destroyed. So that's why I went to the dry erase and I already had that marker, that little pink one. So we're gonna be using that one to complete this challenge. Look, it even looks better. Okay, so that's it for that. How much do we have left? Let's see, because next we're going to the scratch and save skip or double book. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 10, 60, 70, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 81. Okay, $81 left. All right, let me set it back up. And we are going to go to the scratch and save skip or double book. All right, for this one, let's see, where are we going? Let's start on this page, because I feel like now I want to finish off this page, but I don't know if I'll be able to. I'm just going to be honest with you. So let's just start heading across the top, and we'll work our way. Nah, let's start Let's start heading our way across the bottom and work our way up. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> All right, so that one's $9. Not bad. What did I say? I had 70 something or $80. Nine and eight. I probably should get that calculator so I won't forget what I'm doing. All right, so that's 17 so far. Let's see. Okay, this one. Plus another 17. Y'all, I'm hitting these 17s today, huh? 17 must be my number. Let me go ahead and play this lottery and stop playing. Another 17. Okay, so that's 34. Let's see what this one is. I think I'm gonna stop after this. 10. Hmm. Okay, I'm up to $44. Should I stop? I think I'm gonna stop. I, I, uh, well, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do this one. 
Man, did she do a doozy or what? Okay, $20 more, so $64. Something in me just say just keep going, but no, I'm gonna stop. This time I'm really gonna stop, plus 20. Okay, so $64 is going into the scratcher save, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 2, 3, 64. Okay. All right, so we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 2, 3, and $64 going into the scratch or save. I have it in this envelope titled Flower Scratch Off Challenge. So let me just put the money in there. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 600, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 627 dollars in the flower scratch off, which is the scratch and save skip or double savings challenge book. This book has over eight thousand dollars worth of scratch off pages in here total and if you hit skip or doubles and you doubled every time you could have upwards of ten thousand dollars saved by scratching in this book so if you're interested in this book it's linked down below in my etsy storefront and you guys i'm going to be running a sale for the next week for 15 percent off so now's the time to get yourself something especially like an investment in one of these books all right last but not least we do have the penny challenge and i have 5 10 15 16 17 dollars available for that here she is in all her glory. Y'all, my ring never turned blue today. What's going on? <laughs> $17. Should I just do one? I need to get that one done. Hmm. I'm just going to do one. I'll do $16.45 and let me do it this coral color that y'all know I love. We're one penny closer to completing the penny challenge. If you guys are interested in the penny challenge and doing it right alongside me, it's linked down below in my um, description bar. It's a free PDF to print and you can resize it as you like. Let me get my penny challenge jar so we can put the money away. All right, so for the penny challenge, we're gonna go ahead and put in the $17. I'm gonna be using this money to get me a refrigerator. So yeah, I'm excited to get this challenge done and over with by the end of the year probably before Christmas so I can stock up my new refrigerator for Christmas time. But yeah, that's that. All right, you guys, so I think that is everything for this video. We went ahead and did cash stuffing of my daughter's graduation gift, as well as a bunch of savings challenges, even put some money into the penny challenge. And yeah, we did a lot, I think. Um, okay, so let's see. If you made it all the way to the end of this video and you a real one, because y'all know I'm supposed to be saying it. I forgot it last video. Put this one single emoji right here, letting me know you a real one and you made it all the way to the end. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I put out a new video. Leave a comment so you can be entered for the We Are The Stars Challenge as well as like the video because it helps it to be suggested to other people. If you know someone who needs some help on making saving fun, then go ahead and share the video with someone else as well. All right, you guys, I think that's it for this video. Expect a new video from me coming out very shortly. I have a new and different video to share with you next time, but I will see you very shortly. Take care.